of uh, Magic Ben Amenau Way, number seven, given a hope as well. So there's the updates as they move up at Canterbury, race seven, 1250 metres, the HV Hill Plumbing Handicap. Here's a cup, race number seven, Kahunga is the clear favourite now ahead of Magic Ben, Amenau Way and Captain Gulab. This race over 2000 metres, the Pencehurst Cup. Then Launceston race number eight, and it's six away. Carrington Star, the top raider ahead of Ataka Man. Surge of Power Trust Fund, one, two, five, and six. And the update looks this way. Carrington Star, Trust Fund, and Aerial Pursuit, all given hopes. For a class four over 1,600, Honor Bell is the favorite number 10 at 350 and affirming one. Selections from uh, Colin McNiff, 10 a special debate one and seven in that race. Let's head to Penshurst for the Cup. Over 2,000 metres, your caller, Adam Crittenden. And the last one in is Bonza Blue. And they're right for the Mount Rouse Rare Rump and Red Penshurst Cup. 2,000 metres. Off they go. And the favourite, Kiyunga, got away with them. Magic Ben doesn't have any early speed at all. Roses and Wine does. Roses and Wine's going up outside of Captain Gulab to head him off now. Bonza Blue to third, out deeper our strike breaker. And then Bayzam, Kiyunga, who's a little deeper. Magic Ben back along the fence from Amenau Ray. Too easy, two to Sylvan Heights. And last is Jewel of Kingston. A mile to go. And Roses and Wine out of the straight leads the cup field by nearly two. On Captain Gulab's second hour, strike breaker third and fourth is Bayzam. Two further away then to Bonza Blue. Kiyunga's a little closer to the rail now. He's up running sixth. A length and a half, Magic Ben, too easy. Aiming our Ray. Sylvan Heights and Jewel of Kingston last about 10 off the lead. Running up the back and with 1,200 left to go, the leader is Roses and Wine. Leads by three quarters of a length. In second spot, Captain Gulab. Third is Bayzam. Fourth, the rail, our strike breaker. Now two further back to Bonza Blue. Kiyunga is next. Magic, Magic Ben's got his way off the fence now. And he's tracking the favourite Kiyunga. Sylvan Heights back along the fence. And then Jewel of Kingston. Too easy. He's dropped out of it already. And Damon now Ray's just getting past him. Off the back. 800 to go. Roses and Wine endeavouring to lead all of the way. Leads by a half length on Captain Gulab. Bayzam. Just behind them our strike breaker. Kiyunga is working up close to the lead now and travels pretty well. Magic Ben scrubbed up. Damon now Ray's going right around them in quick time and then bonds are blue jewel of kingston sylvan heights up around the home turn aim and our raise a mile off the inside rail this is a very daring move he's come to the outside fence on his own cutting the corner captain gulab's going to lead them up in the home uh, home straight for the cup aim and our raise out after him and then kiyunga who's under pressure with magic ben i think aim and our raise in front with 150 to go though aim and our ray took over from captain gulab our strike breaker back along the inside Dean Yendel's made the big move on Eamon Al Ray and it's paid full dividends Eamon Al Ray's won the cup Eamon Al Ray a length and a half on our strike breaker third captain Gulab and then Magic Ben with Kiyunga Sylvan Heights Bay Zam Jewel of Kingston Roses and Wine and back near last were Bonza Blue along with Too Easy Eamon Al Ray, number seven, Dean Yendall, for Lois Kettle, has won the race. Wasn't that far away in the Narrow Court Cup, but he's only other try over this trip. And today, well, he's, won, he's run significantly more than the 2,000 metres in distance, but he's still past the post first. And Dean Yendall obviously made the intentional move. There's no doubt it was intentional on the horse to uh, go out wide, search for perhaps firmer ground. And it's one of those moves where if it pays off, you're a legend, and if not, you're an absolute fool. But uh, he's won the race on Eamon Al Ray, number seven. Miners, our strike breaker and Captain Gulab. So the numbers will be seven, two, nine. So Dean Yendel, full marks, Eamon Al Ray, 7.50, showed the initiative and it's got the money in today's 2,000 metre cup. Our strike breaker, 3.20 and Captain Gulab at $2.60, 7, 2 and 9. As we see, Eamon Al Ray under the arches.
out in the pie stand taking out the Pencehurst Cup today. 7.50 and 2.20 for the winner, 3.20 second, 2.60 3rd. Quinella, $47.90, the Exacta, $43, and the Trifecta, $729,488. Now, Lon Just waiting for Bushman to straighten up. Taxing times, many on victory's about to be straightened up. And we won't be far away for a start in the standing start event. Many on victory just moving up. Taxing times has to go wider. Track attendant required just to get taxing times a little bit wider. If they begin quick enough off of the 10 metres, they can nearly squeeze through on that outside fence. King Nigel Fracture, so his drinks are on me. He's getting a lead up. Pretty much is a little bit fidgety on the inside. Crystal Blue Jean, she stands well. So does Kentucky Hurricane. Set to go. Tapes go back. King Nigel Red at the start. He's come out skipping about and galloping. Drinks are on me. Was away OK. Murdiong victory fast away. Bushman kicking underneath it, trying to keep it out to the first turn. And looks like he might do so. Kentucky Hurricane behind those. Have a look at Tartan Ken. Or oh, Brownless getting squeezed up by taxing times around the first turn. Pretty much. And Paula Callas has been tipped out on BG's Whisper. And they all missed it. Frank Cavallaro had to swing wide with Crystal Blue Jeans. Oh, trouble. The horse has gone down. BG's Whisper. Really split the field up here. Drinks from me has been knocked out of it. Crystal Blue Jeans has been knocked out of it. So has pretty much. Miss Miles giving them a big start and so has King Nigel. Their winning chances look to be out of the door. Magnificent work by the clerk and of course Stephen Pearson. He's grabbed this runaway horse. It looked to be dangerous but he's got it under control. And Tartan Ken finds a lead. Well he won the Port Augusta Cup and he's looking pretty good to win the Capunda Cup. He leads away at big odds again. $17.10 and $3.60 in second placing Bushman. On the outside Kentucky Hurricane facing the breeze Murdy on victory 1-1. One, one. Here comes Brownless around the outside. Three wide under the whip trying to work towards this leader. Then in turn behind those was taxing times. Then Miss Miles. She's been able to tack on. Pretty much is about 15 metres away. Oh the horse has got away from the clerk of the course and the handlers again and it's running around on the inside of the track. This could be very dangerous and it's running towards the field. A long long gap to drinks on me and also Crystal Blue Jeans again. The clerk of the course is doing his work, trying to control Crystal Blue Jeans. But in the meantime, it's Tartan Ken. Lead time 121.5. He's out in front by three metres. Brownless outside the leader. Tartan Ken's looking at the runaway horse, and now he tried to attack with Brownless to try and get past him. But now they've got the horse under control. On the inside is Bushman following the leader. Kentucky Hurricane 1 1. King Nigel made a mistake back in the field. He's galloped out of it. Murdiong victory. Three back the inside. Then taxing times. Miss Miles pretty much. A long gap then of about 15 or 20 metres to King Nigel who's pacing roughly and drinks are on me 20 metres behind it and a further 20 metres to Crystal Blue Jeans coming into the front straight. They'll get the siren on this occasion and Tartan Ken leads away by 3 metres. In second placing Brownless outside the leader. He's starting to rev him up but he needs a bit of wind up. Leader's going well. 1-1 one, one, Kentucky Hurricane on the inside following the leader is Bushman. Then Murdiong victory 3 back the inside with taxing times. Pretty much four back the inside. Then Miss Miles. King Nigel's about to tack on again. Drinks are on me. 15 metres behind him. And Crystal Blue Jean. She's another 25 to 30 metres away. Tartan Ken leads away down the back. First half 63.5. He's going well. Brownless in second placing. He's been under pressure for a long way but normally he keeps coming. On the inside Bushman. Kentucky Hurricane coming three wide. Going between runners is Murdiong victory. He's going well but can't get out. Then behind those taxing times under pressure. They've still got to catch the leader though, Tartan Ken. He's in front by three metres. Scott Ewan had a look over the shoulder. He's confident. I think he's got every reason to be confident. Now he kicks away with Tartan Ken. Kentucky Hurricane down the outside is trying to pick him up. He's winding up Kentucky Hurricane. Tartan Ken in front. Kentucky Hurricane coming at him on the line. Tartan Ken in front and it's his cup. Tartan Ken first, second Kentucky Kentucky Hurricane, third Brownless possibly just in front of Bushman, but it's a photo for third. Then many on victory behind those taxing times, Miss Miles, King Nigel, pretty much. Then drinks are on me, Crystal Blue Jeans, and they're still trying to get under control. BG's Whisper, he's really tangled up in the sulky and gear. Well, 12 Tartan Ken taking out the Kapunda Cup at 17.20 and 3.60. Greyhound's about to be boxed at Bendigo for race seven. The Cup at 17.20 and 3.60. Uh, that trifecta, uh, $3,511.
and it does jackpot in... Set for a start. Signal there. They're off and racing in the cup. And they're broken in a good line with Greek Adonis, Pindy Ridge and British Basco ridden up on the outside going forward for Marlu Winkler. Paternal driving up on the inside, then Narita and Jezerich dropping out to the rear. Inside the 1400, Paternal narrowly in front of Greek Adonis. British Basco having no luck, it's out wide. Pindy Ridge and Winkler on the inside, followed by Malou three parts away. Two further back, then comes Narita and last of all is on the outside of it, Jezerich. Paternal leads down the back now, steadying at the 1100 by a neck. Second on the outside is the favourite Greek Adonis. British Basco three deep but in the centre, Pindy Ridge. Winkler and on the inside of those comes Malou. So British Busker is out four deep, a length and a half. Jezerich and Narita last of all. The cup field heads down towards the 800 metres and the top weight paternal on top leading three parts. Greek Adonis over in the centre, Pindy Ridge. Winkler and deep out British Busker. Malou saving ground on the inside, followed then by Jezerich and Narita. Paternal got away a little from Greek Adonis, 600 metres out. Leads a length and a half, third placing British Busker Malou. Pindy Ridge in the centre, Narita deeper out on the hard riding from Jezza Rich and Winkler dropped out to the tail, but Paternal at the 400 broke away. Two and a half in front of Malou going to second. Then comes Greek Adonis beaten with Pindy Ridge on the inside, Jezza Rich. And further back, Narita Paternal straightens up well clear of Malou giving chase. Then comes Jezza Rich, Pindy Ridge and Greek Adonis. Paternal in front, Malou on the outside is grabbing it now clear of Jezza Rich. Malou gets to Paternal with 50 metres left to go, starts to draw away. And it's Malou's cup. Malou and Linda Meach go to the line to score comfortably by two lengths. Jezerich got up a second in front of Paternal. Then Pindy Ridge, next in Narita, Winkler, Greek Adonis and last in and a long, long last was British Busker. It's on. Off they go. And Umrum clearly beat them out, jumped about a half length in front, but Mr Soho quickly musters ground to go to the early lead. The Flea is running third, Noble Sensation fourth, and off the track in the early part of the race, Dream Quest. And then Sedation, followed by Chardier back last. They race toward the 1,200 metres turn, and Mr Soho, often gone by three lengths over the Flea, second on the inside of Umrum, and two further back there is Noble Sensation. Dream Quest just uh, going a little wide there. Uh, length further back to Chardier, now back to the second last with the up on the outside sedation by the 1000 metres mark and Mr Soho about six lengths in front of the flea and three lengths away Umrum third a length further back Noble Sensation a neck the outside Dream Quest who is pretty much tracking Umrum now further back of the 800 metres mark sedation and Chardier as last as expected a truly run affair as they make the run down the side approaching the 600 metres mark and Mr Soho still by three the flea three lengths away Umrum two further back Dream Quest on the outside of Noble Sensation, then Sedation and Chardier as last. They've got to Mr. Soho, 4.50 left to travel, and Umrum quickly goes up to take the lead. Sedation making a dash around them, Dream Quest also making ground with Chardier. Umrum's going to straighten up about a length in front, Chardier looming up on the outside. Out wider in the green colours, Dream Quest, then Sedation. Chardier's after Umrum with 150 metres left to travel. He'll have to fight Umrum. Chardier the outside, Umrum's kicking. Umrum's got ahead in front of Chardier, Umrum just in front and Umrum he got there by a neck, Umrum beat Chardier a great run, four lengths away third, Dream Quest, then Sedation then Noble Sensation, the Flea and Mr Soho